I'm talking to John Twinney, who's the Cabinet Secretary, which is to say the boss in Scotland, um, of finance and sustainable economic development, um, and has in his portfolio tourism. And he's just announced this major sustainable tourism program in Scotland, added to which Scotland is looking to be totally the sustainable tourism destination of Europe by 2015, which is five years' time. So tell me, John, first of all, um, how do you think sustainability in Scotland is going? There's a great focus on sustainability because of a number of drivers. Um, this government uh, came to office with a commitment that we'd focus government and public services on increasing sustainable economic growth in Scotland. So that's at the heart of all that we do. Secondly, Parliament last year in Scotland passed the most ambitious legislation on climate change, uh, putting very exacting targets onto government and public organisations to reduce their carbon footprint. And thirdly, you know, for the tourism industry we've got a tremendous opportunity because of the quality of our natural environment to essentially play to that as part of a key ingredient in our sustainability agenda. So I think we're, we've got good foundations and a very dynamic agenda. And I think also, crucially, we've got a tourism industry with good leadership that's determined to make a difference in this respect. Now, you, that's really talking about the environment. I, I know that you're really, really concerned about the economic potential of tourism as an economic driver. So what's your take on that here in Scotland? Tourism's got great potential in Scotland. We already um, have a very successful industry that um, contributes significantly to Scottish economic development. But we're, we're absolutely confident we can do more. Um, we think there are in uh, a number of different areas of tourism uh, many new ventures which are focused on increasing quality, on increasing choice, on increasing the opportunity to develop um, initiatives that are sustainable within tourism and that these can attract people from a whole variety of different perspectives. So we've got great uh, opportunities and prospects, and we just need to seize all of those in the years ahead. Now, this is a major new step forward for Scotland, the sustainable tour this new sustainable tourism programme, and as such it, it attracted uh, funding from the European Regional Development Fund. Um, that is a mark of success, isn't it? The fact that the uh, sustainable tourism project has got off the ground, that it's attracted... European Regional Development Fund resources, that it's captured such input from the industry and the, the input from Peter Taylor as a very successful tourism entrepreneur in Scotland to lead this process is very, very important indeed. So the, the, the mark of success is there, but we've also got to build more on that to ensure that we've got greater capacity to attract people and to appreciate the, uh, the great environment in which we live. Now, at the end of the day, it boils down to individual entrepreneurs doing their thing and being sustainable and being economically sustainable. Um, Scotland is a country of um, entrepreneurs in the tourism business because tourism is a big um, industry here. Um, how do you feel that the industry is actually taking to sustainability now? The industry is really adapting its whole approach to encompass sustainability as other industries have to do, but tourism, I think, really is out there in the lead. Many different businesses are now adapting what they offer, how they're structured, how they operate, to take into account the questions of sustainability, whether it's about tourism businesses changing their heating systems to make them more sustainable and, and save money into the bargain, whether it's about changing transport uh, arrangements to ensure that people can get around Scotland in a more sustainable fashion, or whether it's about encouraging more walking and cycling and other aspects of sustainable activity. All of these factors contribute towards the sustainable tourism proposition in Scotland, and it's warmly embraced by many tourism operators in the country. So you're a Scotsman, obviously, and um, a politician in Scotland. Uh, what's the major selling point for sustainability here in Scotland? I think it's a combination of the a tremendous natural environment in which we, uh, we have the privilege to live, um, whether that's the, um, the, the, the country scenery of either um, grey island landscapes or rugged mountainscapes uh, in the north, or whether that's the great urban centres of uh, majestic beauty. And here in the city of Edinburgh, there is perhaps no finer city than the, the great majestic city of Edinburgh. So that's an important part of sustainability. But also the other part, and this is, a, this is something deeply ingrained in Scotland, 
is the innovation that's required to make sure that we do new and different things. And Scotland's always been an innovating country, go back several hundred years. Our great thinkers were innovators, our great inventors were innovators, and we're now deploying that in tourism, and it's a great fillet to the industry. This is a great place to make that statement, because I didn't know, but the Botanical Gardens, where you've just made this announcement, um, exported all its botanical knowledge to Kew in England uh, before the English had botanical gardens. Now, that's something that you can do in tourism too, isn't it? Well, absolutely. And uh, you know, one of the other strengths of the botanic gardens has been the partnership, for example, between the Royal Botanic Gardens and the people of China. And we've had great connections there in plant development and uh, plant appreciation. And now, in China, we have a great understanding and connection with what goes on in the Royal Botanic Gardens. And of course, China, as a tourism market, is an absolutely colossal opportunity for us to develop. So we'll be, we'll be using every single attribute we have to bring people to Scotland. And thinking of colossal opportunities, John, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.